days. A bunch of you requested this face look after seeing it in my um, bullying video that I just did. So I thought I would bring you the tutorial on how to do it. It's actually pretty easy, but it does involve like 92 freaking palettes. But you can really get away with doing it with this one Wet n Wild palette that I show you in the video. So if you don't want to spend a ton of money or you don't have all these palettes, then just pick up that palette and you can pretty much do the same thing. I would say the main element is the Milani lipstick that I put on. It is in the color Violet Volt number 34 and it's pretty amazing. I don't know what's happening with my hair right now. <laughs> I used a curling wand again, this time with extensions to see if, you know, I wanted to see if it would like, I don't know, it's wrong, it's so wrong. Anyway, if you want to see how to get this face, keep watching the video and that's it. Don't forget. So we're going to start off by priming our face with the Baby Skin by Maybelline. You can obviously use whatever primer you feel like using. Um, this is just one of my faves. I really like the Professional, but I ran out. And then we're going to go on with the CoverGirl, uh, the True Blend Concealer Stick Thingamabob. I put it pretty much on all my blemishes. I put it underneath my nose because it tends to be kind of red. And then I put it on my under eye circles because they are super dark. We are going to put more concealer on them later. I'm also using the True Blend Foundation. I believe mine is in the number I2. I was having some issues with getting it out of the bottle. It was a mission. Anyway, you just, you know, spot it all over your face and then I blended mine out with a damp beauty blender until it was all good and fine. I don't apply super thick foundation, so you'll notice that you still see plenty of my blemishes and my freckles and all that through my foundation. It's really just to give it a little bit of coverage, nothing too major. Then I just popped on my eyeshadow base. I use the Lorac um, for this one, but I typically use the Urban Decay one. Either one works just fine. And then we are going to hit up our eyebrows. I'm using the Maybelline Define a Brow in light brown. I pretty much just follow the actual line of my eyebrow and um, it actually works in lightening it. You can see that my natural color is darker and I prefer to lighten my eyebrows rather than to darken them or define them too much more because I think this looks nicer on my very pale skin. And then we hit it up with some of that uh, e.l.f. gel or wax, whatever this stuff is. I hate that it gets all gross in the bottle, but it works pretty well, so hit it up, girl. These are the brushes I'm going to be using. They are all by Real Techniques. And the first color we're going to go in with is from the Lorac Unzipped Palette. It is the lightest color. It might be the only one that didn't realize that all of the colors in the Unzipped Palette start with the two letters Un. Like, hello. I literally just noticed this and I've had it for like six months. Maybe longer. <laughs> um, so we're going to apply that all over the base of our eyelid. And then we are gonna go in later because I kinda get a little carried away with my crease and I have to go in again. And I use a different color. So then we're gonna use the Urban Decay NYC palette. The color Bordello is going to cover about half of the eyelid. And I love this palette. I got it years ago and it was just the greatest thing ever. I was obsessed with it, especially with this color and the other color that I use. And I just recently re-fell in love with it. I'm sure you guys know what that's like. So then we're going to take last call and use this uh, shorter little stumpy looking crease brush and just rub it all into our crease. This is the part where I got a little carried away. Typically I would put this just on the outer corner of my eye, but your girl got excited. Anyway, just blend, blend, blend and blend and then hit up the other eye and then after that we are going to go in and do our... Um, under brow area and the inner corners of our eye. We're gonna take the lightest color in the Urban Decay Naked Basics palette and put that underneath our brow bones and on the inner corner of our eyes. My only qualm with these eyeshadows is that Urban Decay has so much freaking fallout. It is out of this world. I always have to clean up like crazy after I'm done. 
but the shadows are gorgeous so I can't really complain. After that, we are going to wet our eyeshadow brush again. I'm using a Mary Kay setting spray and we're gonna use this Wet n Wild palette that I have and just take the lightest like pinkish white color and just apply that all over the lid. You can obviously use the initial color that we used, but I ended up switching it up and using this one. And if you want, you can actually create this whole tutorial using basically just that palette and I do have a video on that, which I will link below. Then these are my two favorite eyeliners to use. I was gonna show you guys how I do my cat eye, but I suck so hardcore at it that I would rather not embarrass myself and show you that it takes me 92 minutes to do it. So then we're gonna pop on some somewhat natural looking lashes. You can of course go super glam with this, but I've been loving the very natural look. These are Ardell 105s, I believe. Uh, you can double check the description box, but I believe that's what they are called. I love them, they're perfect. Perfect. Then go ahead and take your favorite black liner into your waterline. I'm using the Kat Von D liner. I love this stuff. It like never ever wears off. But just in case it does, we're gonna take the black color out of our Urban Decay Naked Basics palette and just kind of smudge it out. And this really helps to set the eyeliner so that it doesn't move. Please don't look too closely at my cat eye because it's embarrassing. <laughs> Told you guys I'm not into makeup tutorials, but you keep asking me. <laughs> then go back with Bordello and we're just gonna give a, a little bit of a shadow underneath the, um, the waterline, just a little bit. Kind of take the color down there and make it look all purdy and whatnot. Do it on both sides, obviously. And then hit it up with some mascara. Use whichever one you like. I'm using the Mega Plump. I think Mega Plump, Mega Plush, it's by Maybelline, the one in that little turquoise bottle. I really like it. Then I'm gonna take the Pro Longwear Concealer by MAC and hit up those under eyes. I love this stuff. Mine is in the color NC15, I believe. Concealer is my favorite freaking part of putting on my makeup because it just changes everything. It makes your eyes pop and it doesn't make it look like you have two toddlers and you never sleep, which is a reality of my life. We're gonna set that with Rimmel's Stay Matte Powder. I love this stuff. I've been using it for like over a year and there's just nothing. I mean, it's really inexpensive. There's really nothing that is beating it in my book, but yeah, girl, use whatever setting powder you have. And then I have a, this really old CoverGirl blush palette, or blush, um, blush. <laughs> Um, and then the Natural Bronzer by Rimmel again, and I'm gonna use that to contour my face. You know, I only have like one or two blushes, so if you guys have any recommendations, drop those bad boys in the comments because I am super rosy naturally, and that is why I have very, very little blush selection because your girl's bright red anyways. And then just blend it all out. Make sure you don't have any harsh lines or any super dark, weird-looking spots or anything. And we are almost done. On to the exciting part, the Milani lipstick. This is what got all you guys so excited about this look. Um, it is in the color Violet Volt. It is way cute, and I kind of suck at applying lipstick, so we're just gonna speed right through this part. And then um, after I get the lipstick on, I used Max Viva Glam uh, lip glass. This is my fave. It's the Nikki lip glass. I love it so much. And I just use this to kind of soften up the color a little bit and to give my lips a little bit of shine. you enjoyed the video and if you want to see more makeup tutorials or beauty related videos go ahead and hit the thumbs up or let me know in the comments be sure to subscribe and that is all I have to say I hope you guys are having an awesome day thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video bye